we should be able to pursue our dreams or be allowed to pursue our dreams. And what I also know is very important, which Chris has touched on, is mentorship. Mm. Some of us lacked mentorship yeah. programs. I think in high school then it was called counseling. Mm. It's a department for counseling, but I think they meant mentorship is mm. the right word. Um, uh, and it's good, it's happening, and it's, it seems very deliberate from uh, industry captains like you. Mm -hmm. um, I think that is what's key. Yeah. That's what we lacked then. Yeah. Because if there are mentorship programs for young people yeah. uh, like this, then things would be seamless. The flow would be seamless. Yeah. Uh, and you won't feel divided. You, somebody wants you to do medicine, then you end up in law. Uh, you take a lot of time realigning your systems yeah. to, to posture uh, the future that you want. Yeah. So, yeah, I would just say that it's important to deliberately uh, put up these programs for mentorship mm. yeah, that's what we lacked then yeah yeah no it's true mm. even today that's lacking i wanted to be i didn't know what i wanted to be but my parents wanted me to be mm. a lawyer mm. and and i'm thinking law another how many years i hated boarding school already as an introvert i think i still am so i'm thinking <laughs> i go to i go to school where i see people again so Obviously, I didn't take law, and obviously, it brought a rift, and I still didn't know what mm. I wanted to do. So that rift was mended a few years later, but how I knew is one day I'm watching the news, KTN to be specific, and there was University of Nairobi rioting, and that excited me. I said, I actually would love to be in the mix midst of this. <laughs> and I'm like, what, what career is this they do for that to happen? And that's how my journey was formed. That is really my story. But I didn't, like you, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Yeah. Mm. So let's come to, for example, who wants, who can I give an example with? Who can I use? Okay, mercy. Ladies again. So uh, tell me what you, what you do. Okay, so currently I'm a management consultant. Okay. I studied commerce. Uh, recently finished campus. Yeah. So yeah, that's the space I'm in. I'm passionate about policy making. Yeah. So I gravitate towards advocacy. Yeah. Mm. So is that what you've always wanted to do? It's been a figuring out journey. Yeah. Amongst my siblings, some of us are Gen Z, others are millennials. So for me and my fellow Gen Z, they've agreed that our space is dynamic. We are the type that can change jobs in the, within a year mm. or within a decade. Mm. So. I think that's why I enjoyed consulting because of the dyna uh, dynamic nature, but yeah. also the fact that I get to choose the kind of projects I can get involved in. Okay, so you brought up the generational question, uh, and you've also said two words: evolving and changing jobs. As and when you feel like him and Ibo, uh, what else can I do? So that fluidity. Who else is in that space? Nobody. No, for me, I'm not in no, the space of it. So no, like in a year or two, if you choose a different path, you can do that and your parents will support you. So you're one of the lucky few, so to speak, if I may say that. Who, who has had support from everybody from day one? Okay, let's hear your story. My journey to uh, studying law began in a very funny, funny way. Oh, you study law? Okay, yes. okay. So, um... My father was a dentist, and everybody around home wanted me to take that path, especially uh, after the passing on of my father. So people are like, you know, this young man should be groomed so that he can take over the, the mantle that his father has taken. Mm. So everybody was like, yeah, we will take you to medical school. Yeah. We will take you to a good school. You become a nurse like your father and major in... Uh, or be a professional in dentistry yeah. and so on and so forth but then when i was in high school my chemistry grades were terrible so i could not manage to get those qualifications but they still insisted anyway mm -hmm. to a point that uh, i was once taken to kenya medical training college to go and attempt a course and it didn't work yeah so i had to now uh, make an application to my former uh, university so that I can be taken in to go and do another medical course mm. and it's it's by good luck on my side that uh, the school was not set up so I was told to, to choose another course because I was just not ready 
I had already wasted time mm. and I was just not ready to to, to waste more time yeah. waiting for the school to be set up. Yeah. So that's how I jumped into law. Yeah. And I, I am glad that today I'm here. Okay. However, most of my uh, surrounding relatives or even friends, yeah. uh, they were not happy the path that I took. Mm. But you see, it is about me. It mm. is not about them. Mm. It's me wanting to be me mm. and doing the things that will make me be a 